All right, so let me do these questions here. Um, this question, it, um, it technically has uh, nothing to do with um, waves other than the, uh, the, the question talks about speed of sound, 343 meters per second. But you, know, you could have gotten a question like this very easily in, well, I guess any of your math classes. It didn't even have to be calculus class. So, it, um, so it's a question like this where I really think there's a value in you, uh, everyone, getting practice on um, uh, working it out because it's uh, really about how can you, uh, reading a description of a scenario, can you come up with a mathematical model of the setup and then solve it uh, without someone telling you what the formulas are. You know, I get this kind of uh, questions from students all the time um, where people say, and I think I understand it, I just need to know what formulas I need to use. But the whole kind of point of the training in physics is, um, is being able to come up with those formulas. So that's, a, that's why really practice makes perfect. There's no way around practicing uh, for uh, solving questions of this type. So let me do this one. Uh, it says course call is taking a long hike. Let me just give it a, oops. let me just give it a distance D uh, to earn some merit badge while on the hike. She says some cliffs some distance away. Oh, so that's a different distance, cliff some distance away. Uh, let me call that Delta X. Um, she wishes to estimate the time required to walk to the cliff she knows that the speed of sound is approximately um, that. And let me give that speed um, C uh, because I'm going to use V for something else. Uh, 343 meters per second. She yells and finds that echo returns after approximately 2.3 seconds. Let me call that Delta T. If she can hike one kilometer in 8.1 minutes, um, Hmm. Uh, let me just tie this to speed V. How long would it take her to reach the cliff? Okay. So I guess having read through this, it looks uh, like this information here was a distractor. This 12 kilometers, you don't use it anywhere. Uh, I mean, that's the total hiking distance, but they're not asking for that. So I don't use that 12 kilometers at all. <laughs> so um, that's part of the critical reading that you should do. Then uh, what I see is um, I need to figure out this distance delta x, cliff is some distance away. And, um, and I think I can use the given information here to figure out that delta x. So this is the kind of picture that you should have in mind. Here's a cliff. Here's the Girl Scout girl or Girl Scout. <laughs> I don't know what the noun is. I thought Girl Scout was the organization. <laughs> um, um, and the, so the way I'm labeling this, the distance that cliff is away is this delta x here. Now, um, when it says that she yells and finds that echo returns after 2.3 seconds, you do have to be careful to recognize that the sound wave is traveling to the cliff, bounces, and then comes back. So the distance that the sound waves travel is two times the delta x, two times the distance to the cliff. So with the information given here, you can relate the speed of sound wave to the time that the sound wave takes. Speed of anything is the distance that the thing travels divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Well, my D looks weird. Um, so, um, so yeah, that, uh, that's the basic relationship for speed and that's what we are using here. As I said, you don't really need to know anything about waves here. Um, uh, what we are wanting to solve, oh, I need to write in what D is. D is two times the distance to the cliff 
And what I'm looking for here is the distance to the cliff. So let me solve that. Solving, I get distance to the cliff is equal to speed of the sound wave times the duration, uh, time it takes for the echo to return divided by two. And I think some people might be able to just guess at that right away from the beginning, which, which is fine. Um, so, so we have delta x. Now, the question isn't asking for this distance directly. It's asking for the time that the um, girl scout would take to travel this distance. So she's moving at some speed of v. And we are given all the information that we need to calculate that V. So the, the speed at which the Girl Scout travels is the distance, 1.00 kilometer per, um, per 8.1 minute. That's how long she takes. And, and I guess I could have kind of saw, um, plug in the numbers and solve it here, but I think it might be a little bit quicker uh, for me to not plug in the numbers at this stage, but instead uh, write down a second expression for speed. So this is how fast she uh, normally travels. Now I can also relate her speed to this very specific journey. Uh, for that very specific journey, she would travel the distance delta x in some amount of time delta t. And it's uh, this uh, delta t that the uh, question is asking about, okay, I need to label things a little bit differently. This is delta t prime, <laughs> so that I don't confuse myself. So I plug in what this delta x is from here, and then I solve for this delta t, and that's the answer that they are looking for. So let me plug in the delta x making sure to prime my delta t there. Um, C times the delta t prime divided by two divided by the actual delta t. Um, and I have this thing here. It looks like it's asking for time in minutes. So I'll leave the minutes as it is. Now, because my uh, speed of the wave is given meters per second, I do want to convert kilometers to meters. So I'm going to write down, uh, write this down as a thousand meters instead of in kilometers. Uh, this is so that I'm making sure the units will cancel out to in the end, give me the unit that I want. So solving this for Delta T, this is what I get. Delta T is equal to um, everything on the numerator, C times Delta T prime over two divided by um, the left-hand side thousand meters divided by 8.1 minute. So the numbers are uh, 343, that's my C times, um, yeah, 2.3 seconds. That seconds will cancel out the second in meter per second, so that's fine. Um, divide by two, divided by thousand meters, um, oh, wait, I should have the parenthesis open. Uh, 1,000 meters divided by 8.1 meters. Parenthesis close. So I get 123 minutes. Um, oh, one decimal place. 123.5 uh, minutes. So I guess it must be a fair distance away. Um, so yeah, I guess that makes sense, yeah. So the answer is 123.5 minutes. Let's plug it in, 123.5 minutes. Incorrect, what did I do wrong? <laughs> uh, that is embarrassing. Uh, let me just double check to make sure I didn't make any calculator mistake. And the easiest way to do it is with the Wolfram Alpha. Hmm. 
um, rip 43 meters per second times the time 2.3 seconds um, that's the round trip so I do need to divide by that by 2 um, and that's the distance divided by her speed which is 1000 meters per 8.1 minute um, yeah that gives the duration of time in minutes this could be a rounding thing. Uh, that's why we kind of fixed the rounding. Huh. So I must have put something wrong in the calculator. Um, now that seems to uh, three minutes and 3.2 minutes. Maybe that is right. How did my calculator give me? Oh, oh I <laughs> your calculator. So 3.2 minutes. <laughs> Let me plug that in, make sure that is correct. 3.2. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 